Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Tiny Mac, and today I'm going to be showing off one of my most recent builds. I've had a few of you comment on my recent videos asking to see the build that was featured in them, so I wanted to share it with you. It is not fully furnished, just an FYI, but we are getting close. This build is located in Windhelm. Windhelm is one of my favorite worlds by far, and I felt it perfectly matched the English themed stable I wanted to build. I built this on the 64 by 64 lot at the very top of the world. I really liked that lot, and I thought that it would be nice to kind of be on the outskirts of town but you know close enough that you could just ride in you know quote unquote but yeah this is Cannerwood Academy I thought that was a fitting name for the style that I was trying to go for which was English and kind of show jumping all of that kind of stuff I am so happy with how this build came out I'm not a very strong builder if I had to be honest I am kind of weak when it comes to building it's not my strong suit but I really wanted to put my all into this build and I'm so happy with how it came out there is CC in this build as you can see but I do have a version of it that is without CC both of them will be uploaded onto the gallery so this build comes with a little workout slash changing room for all of the riders to kind of train and get ready in it does come with one main jumping course there is a practice course in the pasture but I just included one jump in the big arena because obviously EA only allowed us to do one jump and not a course so I didn't want to waste too much space trying to focus on that style when I could just include one and save some space so there is only one main jumping course arena but there is a pasture with a practice one if you need there's a small garden right next to the house I really wanted everything to kind of feel connected and close but also spacious in some way if that makes sense like I wanted it to feel like you had a lot of land but also really cozy and very homey so that was the style that I kind of went for everything is closely connected and right next to each other so the stable was made for six horses total obviously you can have way more because there is a lot of pasture space if you need you can keep some in the pastures so each stable has three stalls. There is one boarding stable pasture and then one stable for all of the horses that you own. I have a mod that includes boarded horses in your household, I guess you can say. So random Sims have their horses come live on your lot pretty much. And that is why I built two different stables that way. So I really tried my hardest on landscaping. That is one thing that I lack a lot. I'm not a skilled landscaper, but since it was a farm, I really tried to put my all because there was a lot of land. But yeah, this is one of the boarding stables. It's kind of half in half out and there's three stalls connected. I put their beds on the outside part so they all kind of sleep outside and then their foods on the inside. And then in the barn, I didn't do the mounted accessible doors. I meant to change that so that will be changed, but for right now you can't really mount your horses, but I'm pretty sure I did the medium walls so you're allowed to. And then I did include a little washroom area. It's super cute. It has two little stalls connected to it. So if you want to mount up your horses there, you can. At least that's where I prefer to do it. And then this stable does have the half in half out stables as well. As you can see, there's a lot of room to mount and kind of change up your horses. So you can fit multiple horses inside the stable, which I like. I like how roomy it is. It's very nice, especially if you have a busy day where horses are kind of just moving around and different riders are coming in and out. You can actually have enough space to where it won't get cluttered and people won't be in each other's way, which I really like. I really hate when horses get all tangled up when you have multiple sims working on them or they're just moving around and they can't work around each other. So they just go through each other and glitch. So that was really a main thing that I wanted to work on on this stable was to have enough room where that doesn't happen and it just has a seamless flow to it. And then here's the inside of the house. I wanted it to, again, feel really cozy and kind of did the half in, half out vibe as well. As you can see, there's a little sliding door with a patio over here where you can kind of eat breakfast or lunch or whatever and see the farm and just hang out and feel like you're immersed into it. So I was really happy with that part when I built it. But yeah, this is the most unfinished part. I really need to furnish this and kind of go back in and, you know, just put some clutter and everything else. But I really am happy with how it looks. I also wanted to go with a natural theme. So I did a lot of browns and greens and kind of neutral colors and I'm really happy with how it came out. But yeah, I hope you guys really like this build. Like I said, I'm not a skilled builder. I'm really trying my best to get better at it. So if it is is, you know, kind of amateur. I'm sorry, I tried my best. I really am happy with how it came out and I think that's all that matters, but hopefully you enjoy it as well and hopefully you have a lot of fun with your Sims and your horses. There is no barrel racing area. Like I said, this is an English focused stable. 
I will be focusing on a Western themed stable as well, but for now, I just kind of wanted to do one discipline at a time for horses and then work on a different kind of stable, kind of branch out and not include both, you know, just specifically one discipline. I spent a lot of time on this build and obviously the landscaping, it is still pretty bare, but I did try my best and I'm definitely going to be adding some more and I'm not finished with it yet. Like I said, this is not a fully furnished lot yet, but it is getting there. I will probably upload a video or a short maybe when I am fully finished with it just to show how it looks, but this is available in the gallery. So if you want to go upload it and play it with your Sims, feel free. There's a lot of open space. It's a lot of fun. It feels like a very high-end equestrian center, which I'm happy with because that was kind of what I wanted in the end game. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I do, but yeah, I will let you go ahead and finish this video. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I really don't know if this is a good build or not. So if it is, please let me know. And I would love to continue this and keep building more stables. I do have another speed build that I'm working on right now that will be coming out shortly. That one I put a lot of time into as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying this content, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. All of the support you guys show is helpful no matter how big or small. I am a smaller channel, so I love seeing your guys' support and comments. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day slash night, and I will see you next time. Peace! Oh, also, I really just wanted to talk about these stables for a second. I am so happy with how they came out. Like I said, I did the half in, half out stables, and I'm just so happy with it. I got a lot of CC from awesome CC creators, like Hey Ness, like you can see, fans, a bunch of different stuff. So I was so excited when I built these stables. I cannot believe I did this. If I'm being honest, I don't know how I got the talent to pull this off, but I was so happy with it. So I just had to say that really quick. Also, I included some shots of the farm at night because I think it looks really pretty at night almost just as pretty as it looks during the day so i also wanted to show that off and then i also included a couple scenes of my sims on the inside just doing everyday things to help you get a look and feel for what the house is like 